The region enclosed by the x-axis, the line x equals 3, and the curve y equals the square root of x is rotated about the x-axis. What is the volume of the solid generated? Let's take a look at what our region is. We have x equals 3, which is right here, y equals root x, the x-axis, and so we're looking at this region inside of here. Now we want to rotate this about the x-axis. When we rotate it, we end up getting this down here, which will be the underside of our 3D solid. And this thing is just rotated across like this. Let's pick a point anywhere on here. How about right here, for example? When this point is rotated, it creates a circular cross-section whose radius is the square root of x at this particular point. So, we're going from 0 to 3. So let's set up our integral first of all. We've got the integral from 0 to 3 of the sum of our cross-sections. And of course our cross-sections here are circles. And the area of a circle is pi r squared. Our r here is the function value, which is the square root of x squared dx. And this is the setup of our integral. We're taking an infinite number of circular cross sections from 0 to 3. And of course, the radii of these cross sections is just the function value the square root of x. So pi r squared. This is equal to pi times the integral from 0 to 3 of the square root of x squared is just x dx. Well this is pi times the antiderivative of x is 1 half x squared from 0 to 3 we can pull out the one-half and we get pi over 2 times 3 squared is 9 minus 0 squared is 0 and the volume of this solid is 9 pi over 2. Now let's talk about what the solid might look like. If this is rotated about the x-axis this could be the nose of an airplane or a very large uh, bullet looking thing but essentially it has this uh, circular conic thing to it like the nose of an airplane. And of course the volume again is 9 pi over 2. The volume of the solid obtained by revolving the region enclosed by the ellipse x squared plus 9y squared equals 9 about the x-axis is what? Well first let's graph this ellipse. To do so we'll divide everything by 9. So we have x squared over 9 plus y squared over 1 is equal to 1. This is the ellipse centered at 0, 0. The distance from the center to the major vertex is 3. So here we have 1, 2, 3 to the right and 1, 2, 3 to the left. And the distance from the center to the minor vertex is 1. And so here is the outline of our ellipse. Of course, we really only need to draw half of this ellipse, which we can talk about right now. If the full ellipse was written out and we revolve it about the x-axis, it will generate the exact same figure as if we had just revolved this one half portion that's above the x-axis about. Furthermore, in this form right here, we can solve for each individual y right here above the x-axis. Now, let's talk about the actual ellipsoid that we have created here. When we rotate each point about the x-axis, it generates a circular cross-section as such. And of course, we are finding the sum of the areas of all of these circular cross-sections along our ellipsoid. It's kind of like a football here. So, there are two things that we need. We need to know our initial point right here and our ending point over here. And by graphing, it looks like we're going from negative 3 to 
positive 3. Now we also have to know the area of our cross sections. Well the area of a circle is pi r squared. And of course the r here is the function value or the distance from the x-axis to the function which is just the function value. So let's solve for y in terms of x. Here we have 9y squared is equal to 9 minus x squared. We can divide everything by 9. We have y squared is equal to 1 minus 1 ninth x squared. And now we're looking at the positive side of this. So we take the square root of both sides. We'll leave off the negative square root because that's the one beneath the x-axis. We'll just have the positive square root of 1 minus 1 over 9 x squared. And so this is the function value at any point x. Furthermore, that's the radius. This right here is our radius. And so we can now rewrite this as the integral from negative 3 to positive 3 of pi r squared. And our r here is the function value. It is the square root of 1 minus 1 over 9 x squared squared dx. Now keep in mind we are integrating with respect to x because our cross sections are perpendicular to the x-axis. So we're summing them up along the x-axis. With this integral we can pull out the pi. We've got the integral from negative 3 to 3. The square root squared is just 1 minus 1 over 9 x squared, which comes out actually pretty nicely. Now let's integrate. Here we have pi times the antiderivative of 1 is x minus the antiderivative of 1 over 9 x squared is 1 over 27 x cubed. And this is from negative 3 to positive 3. So this is pi times, let's plug positive 3 in. We have 3 minus, 3 cubed is 27, so 3 minus uh, 1 is 2, minus, let's plug in negative 3. Here we have negative 3 minus, negative 3 cubed is negative 27, negative 27 over 27 is negative 1, so minus negative 1 is plus 1. 2 minus negative 2 is 2 plus 2. This is 4 pi. And that is the volume of this football.